In this presentation, we are going to review how hydrolytic enzymes are imported into the lysosome and how the lysosome develops into a fully mature organelle. As was seen in our last presentation, a portion of the endoplasmic reticulum is illustrated on the left, and next to it are portions of the Golgi apparatus. The cell membrane is shown across the top of the frame. For illustration purposes, we can see several particles that are being ingested by the cell membrane through the process of membrane vesicle formation. Below this area, we see three cell structures that represent a continuum in the development towards the mature lysosome, positioned at the bottom. Above the mature lysosome is the late endosome, and above that is the early endosome. Particles ingested from the cell surface are first incorporated into the early endosome. These substances can be membrane or membrane-associated proteins, or they can be bacterial products or other foreign substances. The early endosomes, in essence, represent the first collecting point for these materials that will ultimately undergo degradation or salvaging and recycling. As ingested components begin to accumulate within the early endosome, a transition into a more compact and granular organelle occurs, thus forming the late endosome. Late endosomes are more specialized and are prepared for the process of protein degradation and recycling. The late endosome eventually becomes more compact and crowded with intercellular substances. Now, hydrolytic enzymes, pictured here as tiny blue particles, are imported into the lysosome and protein degradation occurs. Enzymes in the lysosome originate in the endoplasmic reticulum and are then transferred into the Golgi apparatus where they are processed and targeted for transport to the lysosome. How does this targeting occur? Here we see the Golgi apparatus with its plasma membrane and its intraluminal area. Within this area are enzymes that have been modified and prepared for the transport to the lysosome, illustrated here by the blue ball. In order for this enzyme to enter the lysosome, it will need to be tagged by a small molecule called mannose 6-phosphate. Once mannose 6-phosphate is attached, the enzyme can interact with the mannose 6-phosphate receptor located within the plasma membrane of the Golgi apparatus. After this interaction, the entire complex leaves the Golgi membrane and enters the cytoplasm. Shortly after departing from the membrane surface, the tagged enzymes are quickly surrounded by a protective meshwork of proteins that enable the enzymes to be transported through the cytoplasm towards the lysosome. Here we illustrate how enzyme cargo can be moved from one organelle membrane to another by use of a protective vesicle. The correct transport of these vesicles is achieved by cytoplasmic microtubules and other proteins that act as transport motors to enable correct transport and delivery of cargo vesicles. The process is complex and involves specific interactions between the membranes that surround the cargo and the membranes of the targeted organelle. We have shown how transport from the Golgi to the mature lysosome is enabled by microfibrils and motor proteins that move cargo vesicles to their destination. When enzymes move into the mature lysosome, they enter a very acidic environment that is optimal for their proper enzymatic function. As early endosomes progress to mature lysosomes, they become more acidic. This increasing acidity is due to the action of membrane proteins functioning as hydrogen pumps. Here we see a mature lysosome and its hydrolytic enzymes, indicated in blue. These enzymes are able to degrade and recycle the lysosomal contents. If the enzymes cannot function properly, for example, if there is a genetic mutation which impairs the activity of the enzyme, as indicated here, then retention and storage of material will occur. If the effect of a mutation is severe, the hydrolytic enzymes are absent and are never transported into the lysosome. Such enzymes are destroyed soon after their synthesis in the endoplasmic reticulum. Storage and accumulation of undegraded compounds within the lysosome is the hallmark of the lysosomal storage diseases.